Welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek. And I want to talk to you about a version of the Greek New Testament. Most people are familiar with the Nestle Alant or the UBS text. The United Bible Society 5th edition or the Nestle Alant 28th edition is considered the standard critical scholarly edition of the Greek New Testament. Many of you are also aware of the Tyndall House Greek New Testament, which is published by Tyndall House at Cambridge University. It's an alternate eclectic scholarly edition that's sort of, it's the Pepsi to the, the dominant Coke saying, hey, here's another, uh, here's another scholarly edition that's uh, trying to use the best and most recent research on scribal habits and, and looking at all the manuscripts and, and coming up with a close but slightly different text, an alternate eclectic edition. Some people, of course, favor the um, the Byzantine or majority text. There's a, there's a pre-commitment or certain uh, commitments there that lead them to favor a, a version of that text. Maybe they, the Robinson Pierpoint text is, is the one they'll use for that. But I want to introduce another one, and it's the Statistical Restoration Greek New Testament. The Statistical Restoration Greek New Testament. This was the vision of Alan Bunning, is the vision of Alan Bunning. And if you go to the website, it's uh, Greek cntr.org so this is the website for the Center for New Testament Restoration again it's Greek cntr.org like Greek center but without the vowels on the the word center there uh, and you can view this online for free the entire uh, copy entire version of the statistical restoration Greek New Testament you can um, see the the description of it, the explanation of it, as well as um, you know. I, I have glanced at it, but I've looked at the print copy Alan provided me with, and and the vision of this is using com completely objective methods of computer algorithms, analyzing the the data for the earliest manuscripts, and then arriving at a statistically restored, uh, without any human decision making beyond what's put into the algorithm, what to prefer over what else. Um, here's, here's the copy. And uh, Alan Bunning so generously provided my, my intermediate Greek class with print copies of this so we were able to, to use it alongside our Nestle Alant text. And really we, we, had, we didn't really notice any significant differences usually in the passages we were looking at, which is a good sign. Right? It's, it's that the statistical restoration, the algorithms are resulting in basically, essentially, the same text that, that we already use. And so that's encouraging. Uh, I think that's an encouraging thing that, um, that this other method of, of, res of analyzing ancient manuscripts and their variants is resulting in, in essentially the same final copy. The, the only major difference that we did note well, the thing that jumped out at students was the punctuation is different, like, and he uses actual quotation marks, quote marks in the text, which you, if you've used the NA28 or the UBS5, you know they do not use quotation marks there. And then the other thing we notice, I think he also capitalizes, um, um, I think he may capitalize uh, huyas or theos, I don't remember. Some, so there were a few capitalization issues that were slightly different. But something to check out. You you can just look online for free at greekcntr.org and something to be aware of. So, hope you enjoy checking that out online.